The timeline in Moho Pro 12 has seen some upgrades, and they are awesome. First, it's now easier to work with multiple layers. In addition, you can clean up your timeline to make viewing easier, and you can isolate channels for specific animation tasks. In previous versions of Moho, you could alter multiple layers at once, but when doing so, you could only view one timeline. That has changed with a new stopwatch column in the Layers panel. To view a layer on the timeline, simply come over here to your Layers panel and check it on with the stopwatch. Alien, Smoke, and we'll do Back Arm right down there. As we turn these on, they appear in the timeline. They're indicated by their titles, as well as colors if they have them. And it's always easy to come over here and assign colors if you want. We'll just pop up here and we can assign alien to green. And we'll pop back and you can see now it has changed. From here, I could expand my timeline up so we can see all layers. And I could alter my animation here for alien. Let's just say I want to make this part quicker so I shrink those keyframes in. I want to change the cycle of the smoke so I can quickly bring that over. I can come down here and let's say I want to have this animation start later. I can expand that out and bring out the end keyframes to match the duration. Being able to quickly go in and make those adjustments can save you a lot of time. Now here, I just made some quick adjustments. I'm sure you'd be more methodical with your process and hopefully with this demonstration, you can see how your workflow would benefit from it. Now the next thing is consolidating your channels. Let's say you have 10 layers currently on your timeline and you're working back and forth between all of them, but you get to a point where some layers don't need corrections at that moment, but you want more room on your timeline. Instead of going over here and unchecking, you can come over here to your timeline and within a layer, right click within any of the channels and choose consolidate layer channels. We can do this for any layer to clean up the timeline and make it easier to read. At any time, if you need to see your channels again, simply right click and choose Unconsolidate Layer Channels. Finally, let's take a look at muting your channels. In our example, if we hit play, you can see we have our alien and he's doing some things, waving to the camera, but at the same time, our camera work is going on and it's kind of chaotic. Now, let's say at about this point, I'm thinking about doing some mouth movements. The mouth for this rig is controlled by a dial. So I zoom in and I get ready to go. And I'm going to start moving the mouth, but as I'm about to do that, the camera work takes over and my dial is gone. All we have to do to correct this is come down here to our camera channels. You'll see a white button next to each channel. Simply click this to turn it red. This will mute your channel. You can also right click to mute a channel as well or unmute it if you wish. Now, when we look at this, you can see the animation plays out for the alien, but our camera work is currently not running. But our keyframes are still intact, so those are safe. We can now go in and make our corrections. So I could zoom in here and let's see, I'll add a mouth movement here. So he comes down like this and we'll just go like that and kind of like that. There we go. So now we have our animation. And once you're done, you can just come back here to toggle off your muted channels and to bring your camera work back and to have the mouth movement in place as well. Any Moho workflow will benefit from these new features. And if you'd like more information, tutorials, or if you're looking to buy Moho, you can visit moho.smithmicro.com.